Hey everyone, it's Allison from Determined to Shine and welcome, welcome, welcome to our YouTube channel, whether it's your first time here or whether you are a returning visitor. Here at Determined to Shine, we are all about using creativity, spiritual connection, and community to find joy and find ways to shine when life gets sticky and stinky. And let me tell you, today for me, it's been one of those sticky, stinky days. I have not felt very shiny today, but I am quite determined. And I really felt like I needed a pep talk. And so here we are with an Oracle card pep talk because I need a message from the cards. Chances are we all do, right? Because so often life's just hard sometimes. Like, let's just own that. I don't know why there's this idea, especially in the spiritual community, that we have to be feeling great all the time. Like, that's not real. That's not life. That's not practical. Some days are just stupid hard. And today for me has been one of those days. So that's okay. I'm in it. I'm present. I'm feeling my feelings. And I'm pulling out my Oracle cards because that's what I do on hard days. So, well, every day, but especially on hard days. The deck we're going to look at today is the Foxfire deck. It's the Kitsune Oracle by Lucy Cavendish, and it's illustrated by Meredith Dillman. It's a Blue Angel deck, and um, this has been out for about two years. I've had it for a while, but I don't see or hear it talked about very often, which is really a shame because it's so beautiful, and... Whenever I reach for it, it just really, like, gets me right where I need it. And so, um, because I needed a, a warm message today, this is the deck I was drawn to. So hopefully it has something great for me and great for you. Um, it is a Blue Angel deck. Can't remember if I said that. So it comes in one of those nice two-part boxes. Beautiful guidebook with messages from Lucy. Lucy's guidebooks are always amazing. Um, has good background information, card spreads. And then um, really nice illustrations with quite a bit um, in here about the Kitsune, the shape-shifting foxes, and just really um, beautiful messages. We're actually not going to use the guidebook for this pep talk, but I want you to know it's there for you if you decide to get this deck. And of course, you can find the link and all the information below in the video description. Um, here is the card back. They are glossy um, oracle cards, standard blue angel size. And let's take a look at some of these beautiful, beautiful cards. So we have the Sentinel. Get this. Time to restore. Sorry, there's a bit of a glare on these. I'm trying to make sure I can get it so you can see them well. Coming of age. beauty of age. These are not in order because they're just kind of where I am. So I'm not going to show you all of them because I want you to be able to discover some for yourself. I love this card. The memories of the forgotten self. Sharing your wisdom. Bringer of change. And these cards, I just like, they're so detailed and beautiful. And I love the legends that are attached to these creatures that are, there's more information in the guidebook. And I just really like this deck because it's just not actually like any other deck I have, right? Like I have quite a few fairy decks. I have some dragon decks, etc. But none that feel quite like this. Look at this card. Oh, so beautiful. Um, none that feel quite like this. This is to dance with joy. So of course I love this card. Anyone who knows me knows I love to dance. Um, creation of light. Oh, the garden of the night. Watch and listen carefully. Born with a gift. Delight. Make a wish. Tending the future. 
Let's look at a couple more. Here's Empowerment. Willing Entanglement. This card's kind of intense. A Time to Walk Alone. Find a Place to Withdraw to. So you can see these cards are both a combination of inviting you to go within when we need to and to come out of our shells when we need to. So I really just... I just love them so much that I wanted to share it with you tonight. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you about why I'm having a bad day because I think that's important, right? I think it's important that we're um, real with each other out in the world. So, because there's a tendency to wanna keep ourselves locked down and avoid vulnerability, but there is power in vulnerability. This is gorgeous. This might be my favorite card in the deck, that pink one I just showed. Um, there's power in vulnerability. There's power in sharing our stories. And when you share your story with someone, um, even though that can be really scary, it also gives people the power to, and freedom to share their own stories and to be not okay, right? Because we all think that everyone is doing great except us, and that's garbage. Like, especially right now, like we're all in a pandemic, <laughs> like everything is harder. All the things that are regularly hard are still hard, and some of the things that weren't hard before are now hard, and it's okay. It's okay if you're struggling, I got you. I promise, a little hiccup there, sorry. You know, the darkness is, is always temporary. So on this day, 14 years ago, um, I got married and it was the best day ever. It was so much fun. He was amazing. I was gorgeous. My dress was beautiful. Every moment of that day was perfect for me. Even the ones that weren't. Like, I know there were a couple things that went wrong, but they're all lost to me now, right? And that was 14 years ago, I got married. Um, many of you guys know, if you're not new to me, and if you are, surprise, um, <laughs> sorry. Eight years ago, I lost my husband very unexpectedly when he died by suicide. And so, um, of course, that was horrible, right? This day now, my wedding anniversary, has some complex feelings because it was the best day, but I'm not married anymore. And I want to be really clear that I love my life. I climbed out of that dark, dark, dark pit that I was thrown into when I lost him. Um, I climbed out one step at a time using many of the techniques and lessons that I share with you guys here on this channel. And I rebuilt a life that I love more than I ever thought possible. My life is full of joy and love and fabulousness and silliness. And I am stronger than I ever thought I could be. And I'm determined to shine. That's where this phrase came from because in my dark, dark pit, I didn't know how I would ever shine again, but I knew that I could, maybe someday. I was determined. So this day is, is hard for me because a lot of mixed up things come up because it was a beautiful day, but obviously the marriage didn't go the way I planned. I did not expect that age 30, at age 31, I would all of a sudden be a widow. Um, and I certainly didn't expect that at 39, I would be here on YouTube talking to you guys about it. And yet, here we are. So what I want you to think about is if you are in an unexpected storm or darkness, um, knowing that it's temporary, like you have a way to come out. Like I had a very, very, very dark year 
that year. And I still miss him today and lots of days, most days, every day in some ways. But my life is awesome. But um, we heal, right? We integrate that loss and it, um, we can find light again. So if you're in that darkness, I want to give you encouragement as someone who has been in it, let me tell you, and more than once, you know, let's not forget the multiple sclerosis that followed years later. I laugh at my pain. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. Um, because I don't like to cry. So that's, that's me. Um, it's okay. Darkness is temporary and the light that is in you, I promise it's still there. And if you're in a period of good stuff right now, I want to challenge you to look for someone who's not and see if you can give them some love. And with all of that in mind, I'm going to shuffle my cards and ask the Kitsune for a message for my hard, sad day, your hard, sad day, and anyone who's having a hard, sad day, because this is a pep talk, because we can always use a pep talk, and because, because it's worth it to chase the light every single time. It's always worth it to chase the light. So, let's see what the cards have. So tuning in, taking a deep breath as I shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Um, can't feel my hands and the cards are feeling a little tender, so I'm going to hope I don't drop them, <laughs> which I almost just did, but I got them. It's perfect. The card I pulled is Grace. Now again, I could go to the guidebook and there's a beautiful message there. I'm certain of it because I love Lucy Cavendish's guidebooks. But I'm just going to talk right now about what this means to me and what it can mean for you. If you're watching and needing a pick me up, needing the pep talk, right? Here we are with Grace. <sighs> Forgiving ourselves. Right? All day I felt like I should be doing things. I should be cleaning this up. I should be working on this program for my business. I should be um, XYZ or ABC. I should be making a video. Guess what? I had one planned and it wasn't this one. <laughs> um, I should be, should be, should be, should be, should be. Grace. I talked with one of my coaching clients earlier today, and that was something she was struggling with, is that she felt like she had all these responsibilities on her plate, and she was beating herself up for not getting anything done, to the point that, you know, that became so loud, she actually couldn't do anything, because the weight of the guilt got to be so heavy. And we've all been there, right, when we're just feeling crushed under what we should be doing or what someone says we should look like or how we should, you know, dress or act or what we should say or how we should wear our hair or, you know, any one of a hundred things. What we should eat, what we shouldn't eat, what to do with our kids, what not to do with our kids. There's a thousand pressures and everybody out there says something different. There are people that tell me I shouldn't talk about my late husband publicly or talk about the fact that I still deal with grief. Well, guess what? <laughs> Too bad for those people because talking about it helps me heal. And I bet I'm not the only one who heals by sharing. But I know I'm also not the only one who gets scared to share because of how people will react. So then we shut down, right? We shut down and we don't share or we don't take action or we don't follow our dreams or we don't do whatever it is that we want or need to do to take care of ourselves or live our best lives. And then 
we end up in a guilt spiral and that can last for hours or days or weeks or months or years. And we can stay stuck in it, unable to climb out. Grace. So I want you to think today, right now, as you're watching this video, like what's something you can forgive yourself for? What's something that's been weighing on your mind or heart that you can let go of? So for me right now, you know, what this is about is a pressure to act a certain way regarding my grief, that I should be over it. People don't remember that it's my wedding anniversary anymore. They did for a long time, but they moved on. It's been eight years and people don't reach out, which is, is fine. I don't need them to, but some people do get mad when I talk about it because I should be over it completely, right? We never get over losing the people we love. Grief is the hardest thing that we do as humans. It is in some ways the cost of loving someone when we lose them. And that's not a reason to not love. If anything, I love bigger and bolder and more loudly than ever. But I'm going to post this video and there are going to be people who are going to get mad at me about it. And, you know, they may thumbs it down on, on YouTube or they may reach out with mean messages or whatever. But that's okay because Grace... And because I've learned that I got to walk my path. And so I'm not going to apologize for feeling my feelings or sharing them or for inviting you to do the same. But I am going to give myself grace for the ways I thought I needed to show up today and the things I thought I should do or the ways I thought I should feel because I didn't feel any of those things. I felt different things. And... Um, we're allowed to feel our pain and it's okay if it stops us sometimes. But what do you need to let go of? What can you give yourself grace for today? So if you're feeling bold and brave, feel free to leave that in the comments. I'd love to know if this resonated with you. I know this is a hard video and I promised it would be a pep talk. And I know that I'm not dancing around sillily at the end here. Well, I can if you want. Whoa, whoa. There's some singing for you. Some really bad that was like not singing. The pep talk is this. You are safe. You are loved. You have grace. There is good and kindness and joy and light in the world and it is yours for the taking. Should you just decide to stand up and claim it. So allow yourself to forgive yourself for whatever is holding you back and then decide what that one next step is that you can do to make a shift. So for me today, it was pulling out this card deck and making this video and I do feel better. Um, and I hope that you found some joy too and you found some encouragement that it's okay to be where you are. And then how can you chase joy anyway? What can you do to bring some laughter, some levity, some silliness, some lightness, some pampering to your life today? If you need help, you can go to my favorites video that I posted a few days ago. All of my favorite joy boosting things from the last month are there. Or my hug decks if you want more oracles that will make you smile. But, um... Today, I just want to say thank you for listening, and I hope that you find whatever you need today and know that from the depth of my being, I love you. I mean that. I know that I don't know you, 
but there is love for you in this world. By watching this video, you are part of the Determined to Shine magical movement. Um, and I'm glad that you're here because there is a space for you. If you want to get more involved with all the different things that we do in Determined to Shine, check out the links below. But whatever you decide, just know that you're right where you need to be. And it's going to be okay. And at the end of the day, that's really all we need to know. So, until next time, um, of course, here's where I have to remind you to do all the YouTube things, the like, the subscribe, the leave a comment, etc. if you feel so inspired. Those things do help me out a lot. I'm still a new little baby channel. Um, but until next time, from my heart to yours, thank you for being here. And I hope that whatever you need to find your determined determination to shine um, is just one step away. Um, so until then, I will see you soon. Bye.